Hello world, Dr. Dev here. Today I'm bringing possibly one of my most requested videos of all time, how to install a hard drive in a modern laptop. Things have definitely changed over the years and as things get more and more compact, the process is definitely a little bit harder than it used to be, um, at least for the standard two and a half inch drives. So today I'm actually gonna be installing two drives into my laptop. As you can see, this is the Acer Predator Helios 300. I did a full review on this laptop. So if this laptop looks good to you, if you're interested in it, definitely take a look in the video description down below. I'll be putting a link to that full review video. Uh, but today I have two things I'm gonna be installing in this laptop because I just wanna get the most storage I can get out of this thing. It's my daily driver. I use it for tons of things, gaming, a combination of gaming, work, and uh, school and personal projects. So it just fills up like crazy. So I have, this is an NVMe SSD storage drive from Intel. I managed to pick this up on sale. I'm gonna leave a link to this down below. It's supposed to be really fast. I'm definitely gonna be doing some benchmarks and testing on this. And then I have, this is a little bit old, but it's a PNY. XLR8, this is like their elite branding signature series that they've made. But this is my standard two and a half inch drive. So really quickly, before I get into installing these, I wanna give a quick disclaimer. Now that I am making a video advising and teaching people how to actually open their devices, I definitely need to include a few disclaimers with this, okay? First up, in some cases, with your laptop, when you're in the process of taking off all of the screws and you're trying to get inside of it, Sometimes on some laptops, there will be some sort of sticker sealing one of the holes. And if that's broken, then your warranty will be void, your manufacturer warranties in some cases. Um, and, and furthermore, if you've never done this before, if you've never really tinkered or worked on computers or laptops or building your own desktop or something like that, my best advice to you would probably be to look for someone in real life, someone else you know that you can get to help you, um, you know, for the first time at least. If you're, a, if you're a tinkerer, someone who builds things and works with their hands and could pretty much do anything as long as you have good directions and instructions, then this video is probably for you. You can probably do this yourself. But this is just one laptop I'm showing you how to open. So every laptop is different. I highly recommend before opening your laptop and actually trying to get inside of it and unscrewing everything, definitely try to look up on YouTube or just through Google so you can find the manufacturer's website to try to look for either a video or some type of instruction manual specific to your model and your device. Because this is one laptop, there's thousands of them out there. This definitely won't apply to all of you. In general, this type of uh, upgrade in terms of adding just storage doesn't pose a lot of risk in terms of damaging your laptop or your motherboard. I would say probably the main risk is not being careful enough when you're trying to get the cover off. You know, there's a lot of these little plastic tabs on some models that are really easy to break and then you can't really get them quite right when you're trying to close the laptop up after you've done your work. That's probably the biggest threat to opening a laptop for the first time is being unfamiliar and then possibly uh, causing damage to the lid, you know, and having an issue getting it back on when you're done. Um, so yeah, but for this laptop, it's super easy. This is the Predator Helios 300. I've already taken off all the screws and pretty much the lid just pops off. Just, I couldn't really ask for an easier um, process to get inside other than that. But here we are with my laptop inside the box. There were two accessories included in the box, which you'll definitely be needing if your laptop has a similar setup. And when, I'm, when I say a similar setup, what I'm specifically talking about is the two and a half inch hard drive bay right here. If you have a similar setup where it just kind of looks like a blank, open, empty area, and then there's some sort of like unoccupied connector kind of nearby the hard drive slot, then this is probably gonna be something that you will need. A ribbon cable, mine was included, that goes from that very small type of proprietary um, connector that's on the motherboard. This one right here, this end, is what's gonna be going to the motherboard, and then this one goes to your two and a half inch hard drive bay. Now, if your laptop didn't come with this, then you know, you might still be in luck because as you can see here, there's these two silver plates on mine. My laptop has two spaces for NVMe SSDs. So if your laptop is the same where it has two of these bays for NVMe SSDs and you can't find a cable like this for your model, 
then you may be in luck. You can just skip and not worry about this and just go straight to installing an NVMe SSD like this. And I'll just show you really quick what this looks like, just for those who are completely unfamiliar and never have seen it before, but here it is. This is an NVMe SSD. This is what it looks like. So if you don't have the cables you need for this, you can't find them online because for some models, they're definitely hard to track down. Um, I'll try to post a link to a few in the video description if I could find them to buy this ribbon cable right here. Um, but I can't really make any promises that they'll be working across all models. That's why I've been hesitant to share links up until now. You can also join my Discord server. A link to that in the description down below. Definitely there's other laptop owners on there and they can let you know if they were able to find one and that could possibly help you out. Um, but yeah, just... First things first, I'm gonna get into installing my two and a half inch drive because this is probably the cheapest way to add storage. If you have the space, if you have the connector, this is probably the cheapest way to go. So first thing I need to do, put on is mine did come with this like cushioning rubber bracket. If yours doesn't have it, that's totally fine. It's not necessary and not required in all cases, but mine came with it, so I'm gonna use it. So I'm putting this on here and basically those, those little these little feet kind of fit into these holes, just snaps in. And this is really just to, I guess, to absorb vibration. That's pretty much the only thing I could think of for this, um, or at least just trying to get towards an all toolless design. Um, but here we can see very clearly these two connectors, they are matching and this is how we connect it. It's very straightforward. I'll show it from the bottom view. That's probably easier to visualize. It just snaps in like so. Very simple, just pushing straight in, just like so. So every laptop is different, so it might be a little bit different fitting in your hard drive, but for mine, it has this fairly toolless design here where we're just snapping in this rubber housing around the drive. This is pretty much it. And for my model, it just pushes in like so, but every one will be different. Some of you might have like an extra two screws to put in on the drive or some type of other bracket. Every case could vary, could all be different. But what should all be the same for all of these is getting this connector in. So I'm gonna try to make this as clear as possible. Let's get an even closer shot here. So let's go ahead and get this connector in here. Basically what we're gonna do for the first part is here I'll use a little small screwdriver. We're just going to flip this little piece up. There's a little plastic piece. I just scoot it up. You can see it there opening. And then we're gonna slide the ribbon cable as far as we can underneath this little clip. And we're gonna kind of try to push it in, really get it in there as straight as we can. There, that is what I like to see. And then, this piece, we can just push it down, it clips in, and we're good. I'm pulling, I'm tugging on it. it. Seems firm, it's not coming out. That's what we're looking for, done. All right, and if you have a shield like this over your extra NVMe slot, we're definitely gonna wanna take the, that off before we try to install anything. Two screws here, and, and we're good, it's off. So what we see, this slot here, this is for our NVMe drive. This looks like some sort of proprietary link uh, connector between the IO on the side, the IO ports and the main motherboard. So we're not gonna touch that. Here we are. Let's just open up our NVMe SSD here. And I'm installing both just because I wanna get maximum storage capacity possible. And I wanna show a close up here. You definitely wanna pay attention to what type of port your laptop has here. So as you can see right there, there's a little separator, a divider right there. And what we can see is it matches here. So definitely there are other types of SSDs out there with an extra groove on the right. Pay attention to what type you have. So if you do try to order it, you order the right one that can fit. But for the most part, these just slide in pretty directly like that. And then once you have it installed and pushed into the connector, you can kind of just seat it and then replace the housing back on top. And what we see here is with my model is the screw lines up with the groove on the edge of our NVMe SSD storage drive. So this screw is gonna hold down both things, the NVMe as well as my housing. And that's it. 
done. In about five minutes, I was able to install a two and a half inch drive, an SSD right here, as well as a secondary NVMe SSD storage drive here. And my laptop already included a main primary one here, but as you can see, done. I've more than doubled my storage and I did it relatively easily. Um, it's probably one of the first things that I recommend checking out when you're getting a new laptop to see what can you expand. If you can expand your laptop, I mean, th these are the reasons why I give laptops good reviews and praise them well is when the, there's expandability and upgradability so that you know long term down the line, you know, it's a good investment. You're not going to have to go out and use external hard drives or upgrade to completely entirely new hardware. So that about does it. Once you're done installing your drives like so, you can kind of just close it up and, you know, definitely, like I said, pay attention to all the tabs and whatever um, individual manual or instruction video you found so you can make sure you do it right. But pay attention. Usually you can kind of just push along the sides and snap everything in like this. Um, and then you can kind of proceed to your screws. So I hope this video uh, helped some people out. Definitely like this video if it did. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Leave some comments down below. I'm open to requests. So if there's something that you are thinking about doing to your laptop or your desktop, leave a comment down below. Ask me and I'll research, look into it, and see if I can do it and make a good video for you guys. Um, but otherwise, take a look in the video description down below again for a full review on this laptop. Again, this is the Predator Helios 300. This is one of the best laptops I could recommend, honestly, at least for those on a budget, but still looking for the high-end performance as opposed to that mid-level, mid-range. So take a look in the video description down below for links to my review video, as well as my social media handles and my Discord server. There's many helpful users on there every day, and I try to log in there at least once a day as well to answer a few questions. So thanks again for watching. The Porter Dev out.